Okay, Year 12, we're just looking at a video getting ready for the test next week. Uh, here are the topics to be covered, so I've, you can look at those at home if you want to, but let's move on to the first question. So we've got some derivatives of some exponentials and we use the different rules, so I want you to, the rules are up there. Okay, um, so let's have a go at the first ones. Pause and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, let's have a go. So first one straightforward. Um, function is that, so the derivative is, is minus 2, e to the minus 2x, and that's the end of the question. Okay, this one is going to be a product, because you've got a times with two different things with x. Uh, e equals 6 plus 3, u dash equals 1, b dash equals just e to the x plus 3, doesn't change. And so y dash equals x e x plus 3 plus 1 times e x plus 3. And then you'll be told to factorise it, so it's e x plus 3 x plus 1. Next one's a quotient. Can you practice these a few times? So u dash equals 1, v dash equals e to the x. So y dash equals v, u dash minus u, v dash over v squared. Now that equals 2 to the x, but we're going to do some cancelling. So e to the x bracket 1 minus x over e to the x squared. And then that one kills one of them. And so the answer is just 1 minus x over e to the x. Okay, moving on. Okay, so looking at uh, trig derivatives, uh, there's the rules in case you want to remind you. Just this last one here, you can leave your answers to sec squared, but if you need to do some substituting, then it's best to know, best that you know it's cos 1 over cos squared as well. Okay, so there's two straight ones. Um, when you're ready, have a go. Okay, maybe you're back, maybe you're not. So y dash, the derivative of 2x plus pi on 6 is just 2. Sine turns into cos, and then you just write the bracket down again. Now what might you use, if you're getting the value of x, then you can find the value of the gradients. And then once you've got the gradient, you might be able to find a tangent or a normal. Okay. Next one is a product again, so u equals x cos 2x, u dash equals 1, v dash, okay, derivative is 2, but cos turns into minus sign. And y dash equals u times minus 2 sine 2x plus 1 times cos 2x and there's nothing to factorise so the answer is just minus 2x sine 2x plus cos 2x and that's it, can't factorise ok, some equations of tangents and normals so we've got to end up with an answer you know, y equals mx plus b Okay, so we need to have a derivative, you need to have a substitution, you need to find a y value, and then you can find a b value. Okay, so when you're ready, have a go. Okay, you may be back. So, first step, y dash equals 3e to the 3x, at x equals 2, y dash equals 3e to the power of 6. Uh, we need a y value, so x equals 2, y equals just e to the 6, and that's all we need. So y equals mx plus b, y, 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 e6 equals m, 3e6 times 2 plus b, e6 equals 6e6 plus b. So b equals minus 5e6, just by moving that across the other side. So your final answer equals y equals m, 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 3e6, x minus 5e6, and that answer's fine. Or you could factorise it, take e6, so it's 3x, take 5. Okay, next one. Uh, this difference is we've got a normal to get, not a tangent, we still start the same. So y dash equals 2 cos 2x, at x equals pi on 6, y dash equals 2, cos pi on 3 is 2, oh this looks like a question we've done before, pretty boring but anyway, so m tangent equals 1, so m normal equals minus 1, ok so I've got to find the y value at x equals pi on 6, y equals 
sine pi and 3. This definitely looks like one we've done before. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, root 3 on 2 equals uh, m, which is minus 1, times x, which is pi on 6, plus v. So, b equals root 3 on 2 plus pi on 6. Yes, we've done this one before. Final answer y equals m x plus b. And that's it. Okay, moving on. Okay, um, so this is an application of a function that's exponential. Um, I've given you some context, but basically finding the maximum memory, and that's the formula for memory. And oh, so when? So when we're trying to find the time and the maximum memory. So, when you get maximum in the questions, you get a derivative. Now, unfortunately, we've got to do a product rule. So, y dash equals minus t e minus t plus e minus t. So, I'm just doing a cross product. So, e minus t minus t plus 1. So at max, y dash equals 0. So that can never equal 0. So t equals 1 is the solution to the bracket. Okay. So we've answered the first one, when. So at t equals 1 day. Now, strictly speaking, we need to do a table of values to make sure it's a max and not a min. So 1 is 0, so pick a number to the left, pick a number to the right. Um, what am I doing? Now, I can't use 0 um, because that will give us a 0 answer. So I need to pick I need to pick another number because I need a number that gives me a value. So I'm going to pick minus 1. So exponential is always positive, so t is negative. Uh, and when you put 2 in there, it'll be a positive. So it's, ooh, a negative to a positive. So it's actually the minimum value. Okay, not a maximum value. Hmm, okay. There might be something wrong with my question, but there is a turning point. So um, it might be that I've just, just think e to the minus t. No, e exponential is always positive. So. So maybe the question should have been, what's the minimum value, blah, 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 anyway. And the la last part, what is the value? Okay, so t equals 1 times e to the minus 1. So the answer is just e to the minus 1. And if you want a decimal, use your calculator. Okay. Okay, so find turning points and determine their nature. Um, so, um, straightforward, hopefully. Now, with these questions here, we'll be using this to do curve sketching as well. We won't be sketching exponentials, that'll be later on, but we'll just do a normal curve sketching question in the test. Okay, ready when you and when you are. Okay, so y dash equals 6x squared minus 6x minus 36. Take out the 6, make the numbers a bit smaller, and then you can see the factors are minus 3 and plus 2. So at turning point, y dash equals 0. So x must be, that number there must be 3, and that number there must be minus 2. And then at x equals 3, y equals something, which you just have to do by substituting. I won't, not gonna, I'm not going to do that. That just saves time. So there again, you just got to substitute in. Um, I'll do the second der derivative test because that's nice and easy. So y double dash equals 12x minus 6. So at x equals 3, y double dash is positive, so that's the minimum turning point. That's 3 comma something, whatever you found. And at x equals minus 2, minus 2 goes in there. Uh, y double dash is negative, so that's a max TP. So at minus 2 something, whatever, you've got a max, a max TP. Okay, I'm not going to do the hack work. You just need to substitute in and finish that off yourself. Okay, let's have a look at this next one, see if that works out nicely. So u equals 2x, v equals ex, u dash equals.
equals 2, v dash equals e x. So y dash equals 2x e x plus 2 e x factorize 2 e x bracket x plus 1. So at turning point y dash equals 0, so um, if you want to do it properly, 2 e x bracket x plus 1 equals 0. Exponentials can never equal zero, so the derivative, the turning point comes from that value, so x equals minus one. At x equals minus one, y equals, go back to the original function, so we've got two times minus one, e to the minus one, so it's minus two, e minus one. Okay, and then do a table of values again. Uh, so we've got x, y dash, dun, dun, dun. So minus 1 is the answer, so minus 2, 0. Um, again, we can't use 0 because 0 doesn't give us a value because we multiply by 0, so you should use another number, a positive number. So when we stick minus 2 in, that's negative, that's always positive, so it's a negative. When you stick a positive in, that's a positive. So we've got a negative to positive, so we've got a min TP. Okay? Um, so this is the first derivative test. The second derivative test would be too hard to do because you'd have to find the derivative of the derivative and that's too much work. Okay, moving on. Okay, find points of inflection for blah, blah, blah. Okay, so again, we're gonna be using this question in a curve sketching question, but let's just give you a, a pause and then have a go. Okay, back again, y double, oh sorry, we gotta do y dash first. Three x squared plus 12 x plus 12 y double dash equals 6x plus 12. So at a POI, point of inflection, y double dash equals 0 and a change in sign. So therefore, 6x plus 12 equals 0. 6x equals minus 12. x equals minus 2. So we've got a value. Okay. At, that's minus 2, stupid. At x equals minus 2 y equals something. You, now, that's just hack work. You've just got to put minus 2 back into the original function. Okay? So, and then we'll just do the second, der second der derivative check. Um, so, x, y double dash. So, the magic number was minus 2. So, we'll use 0 and minus 3. Uh, when you put 0 in, you get a positive number. When you put minus 3 in, you get a negative number. So there's a sign change. Therefore, it's a POI. At minus 2 comma some number, which you can just find by the hack work. Okay, moving on. Okay, sketch. Oh my god. So so we're not worrying about the x and the steps. So this is the big, a big mark question. Um, we'll just go through all the steps. 6x squared plus 18x plus 12. Take out the 6x squared plus 3x plus 2. x plus 2, x plus 1. Um, so TP's at x equals minus 2 and minus 1. Okay, so um, again, at x equals minus 2, y equals something. <laughs> Okay, at x equals minus 1 something, y equals, so we need to find these values because we're going to sketch it. Okay, so we've got 2 times minus 8 plus 9 times positive 4 plus 12 times minus 2 plus 1 equals. So minus 16 plus 36 is 18, minus 24 is minus 6, minus 6 plus 1, I reckon it's minus 5, might be wrong, who cares. 2 times minus 1 plus 9 times 1 plus 12 times minus 1 plus 1 equals. Okay, minus 2 plus 9 is 7. <sighs> okay, minus 2, 7, minus 5, hmm, maybe minus 4. Okay, there's probably a mistake there in my calculations. Maybe. Um, who knows? All right, keep moving on. Uh, POI at y double dash equals zero. So y double dash equals 
12 x plus 18 so 12 x plus 18 equals 0 12 x equals minus 18 x equals minus 1 half so that's all right it's in between them okay so I'm this is going to take a little bit more time so at x equals minus 3 y equals something okay so we found the turning points we found the y uh, the point of inflection the y intercept is equal to 1 and then it's just join the dots okay to make a curve don't forget to label your axes and then like I said there's two there's two turning points a max and a min um, I might have made a mistake in my calculations there so I just need to check that um, and then just join the dots up but I won't I'm not going to fuss because the video is going on too long okay what's the next one so optimizing the last part so don't forget you need to have a formula with only one variable you can't have two letters and whatever you're trying to maximize or minimize look in the question whatever you're trying to maximize and minimize that's what the formula must be okay um, and then after that once you got the question once you get the formula find the derivative make it equal to zero and then just make sure you answer the question okay so having the formula that's the hard part getting the formula is the hard part but look for the word maximum minimum and then look at the next word and that's what the formula must be okay so here we've got a question that the formula is given to us so the maximum height and that's the height formula okay so whatever the next word is that's the formula that we need and that's the formula we were given so h dash equals 6 minus 2t at max h dash equals 0 6 minus 2t equals 0 2t equals 6 t equals 3 so the time is 3 but the question doesn't say find the time it says find the height so at t equals 3 h equals 6 times 3 minus 3 squared and that equals 9 meters 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 yes it's in questions in meters uh, time was in seconds so it's three seconds if you need to um, we've got to prove it's a maximum so we just set up a little table x no it's x t and h dash okay t is three a number to the left is zero a number to the right is four um, h dash h dash it's there so when you put z zero in you get a positive and when you put four in you get a negative so it's a positive to negative so it's a max TP so the max TP is at three seconds and nine meters so three seconds nine meters is the coordinate of the max okay last question uh, a box is made by blah 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 you might have done this one in a test in a practice so basically what you've got is a four by four and then you're cutting little corners out and then you're folding it up to make a box so the, f the corner we're cutting out so let the square cut out be x so you're taking x out of both sides and so the dimensions of the box will be 4 minus 2x 4 minus 2x and when you fold it up the height of the box will be x okay okay so that's why we need to have a volume formula so volume equals length width height x bracket 4 minus 2x bracket 4 minus 2x and we we've got to have a nice formula so we'll expand that out uh, 16 four fours are 16 um, uh, 4 2 is 8 and then double it is minus 16 X plus 4 X squared I'm just gonna pause for a sec okay I'm back again I just had to do an email there so we've got 16 X minus 16 X squared plus 4 X cubed so now I've got a formula for volume now I can do my derivatives okay so V dash equals 16 minus 32 X plus 12 X squared um, lowest common denominator is going to be uh, 4 so we've got 4 and reverse the order so 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 and I hope that's going to factorize so I'm going to just check my b squared minus 4ac to make sure it factorizes so I've got 64 4 4 is a 16 3 is a 48 
So we get 16, so it does factorize. So now I can check what it is. 3x, x, uh, 2, 2. And it's a minus and plus, so it's got to be two minuses. So minus 6, minus 2, equals minus 8. So 3x minus 2, x minus 2. And so at max or min, go back again, at max min b dash equals 0. So x must be that value there is going to be two thirds and that value is going to be two. Now the trouble is this one not going to be the right one because if you take four minus two twos you get zero. So that's not going to be the right answer. This is going to be the right answer. Um, but basically we've got an answer. Uh, so we've got x and v dash calculation to prove. So x is two thirds, zero is on the left, one's on the right and the rest two thirds gives me the zero answer. And do do do. There's my v dash formula. So when I put zero in, they disappear, so I get a positive. And then when I put one in, if you put do the calculations, you get a negative. Um, ooh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Have I made a mistake somewhere? Um, that must that must be yeah. That's no, that's a max. Of course it is. That's a max going positive max. Yep. Um, have I answered the question? X equals two thirds. Um, what size square is cut out for the volume? So the size, therefore the square cut out is two thirds by two thirds of a meter. Okay. Um, that one there is the, not the maximum, that's the minimum error. Okay, so just to finish off the video. Okay, so a hint. So the test questions, some answers, are, some answers are given to you and you have to prove them. So, and again, if you, even if you can't prove an answer, even if you can't do it, you can still use the answer in the next parts of the question. Um, again, another clue is look at what you have to prove because then you'll know whether you need to expand brackets or not. Um, and two, the last two clues, <laughs> bad errors. A plus B squared does not equal A squared plus B squared. Um, A plus B squared equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. But just remember, it's not just A squared plus B squared. And you need to know in the test um, a circle area and a circle perimeter. Okay, so that is your video. Thanks.